Welcome back to another episode of AP Bass, and my name is Alex. As you guys know, um, in the last couple of months, I've kind of shown a transition in my channel. Kind of some things have changed. I moved to Dallas. I've been working a lot here. Um, this is my new apartment, actually. But I'm kind of worried. Like, things are not looking too good in the world right now. It's it's kind of a scary place. They're saying that we might have to quarantine. We might have to go into legit not being able to leave where you're at. And I've never really had anxiety like this, but like I'm freaking out because I have this new apartment, which I wanted to do like a whole cool like apartment tour. All this stuff happened. I can't get any furniture. I can't get my Wi-Fi set up. And I've kind of just got this like stale place here. I don't know if this is a bad decision, but I think I have to do this. Batteries, GoPro battery, GoPros, drone, drone controller, Guggen sunglasses, drone battery, Extra mic, chargers, clothes that aren't washed, more dirty clothes, cosmetics. What's up? Hey, I, I think I'm just gonna go. Yeah. Um, I just wanna make sure we're not going enough. We're not going to that trip on Monday, right? That got canceled. No, it got canceled. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you're gonna take care of that. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. The America doesn't kill me. They basically just say I can just cancel it that night. I was... Dude, I don't... Like, this is just... This doesn't seem good. But hopefully it'll be over. I just want to be with my parents just in case things get bad. Okay. You're fine. All right. Go, go hang out. All right. I'll, I'll hold it down here. I will uh, have safe travels, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Let me know what it's like flying right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm making a video about it just because I feel like people want to know what it's like flying right now. All right. See you. Bye. That is Matt, manager. You guys know who he is? Great guy. Penny. Hey, it's Fort Myers, right? Oh uh, yeah, RSW. Okay. All right. I think I'm gonna I'm getting on a six thirty flight, so. Oh wow! What time you be here? Ten. Oh, I better get your bed made. <laughs> okay, mom. Well, hopefully this is the right decision. Hopefully I don't die on this flight. You're not gonna die on the flight, honey. Okay. Where's your seat? I don't know. I'm just about to book the ticket, so. Book at airport. What? Plane tickets booked, lights are off. Like, pfft, look at this. She says you have a bed in here. This, I need to do an actual apartment tour. Lights are off. You guys probably can't see me. Is it safe to fly right now? I don't know. We're gonna find out. We're gonna see what DFW Airport, Dallas Fort Worth, which is a huge airport, is like during this time and see if there's people actually flying. How's it going? I'm going to Fort Myers. Um, I could book the 630, which I'm hoping I can just get on the 630. There's no line at that security point, but I'm going through pre-check so I don't have to uh, take my stuff out of my bags. I mean, I haven't been inside the terminal yet. I'm flying out of Terminal D. I'm in A right now. I got put on the earlier flight. I couldn't book the earlier flight. It was $100 um, to fly to Fort Myers, where my family is, so super cheap. I'm just interested to see what the flight attendants are like, and I'm just not gonna touch my face and not gonna touch any door handles, and hopefully that'll be all right. Strike team. It seems like they're I mean, everybody is wiping down every surface in this place. Yes, I'm the only one in the pre-check line. How many people are you guys seeing come through? It's real slow. Last week. Got it. Thanks, have a good one. All right, so now we are in the terminal. Oh, day by day update here. Ah, there's people everywhere. I would say it's like completely, there's a lot of people here. Way more than I thought. The TSA agent did say though that it has been so slow for the past week, but there's people still traveling. Oh, okay. Thank oh, no, you. Oh, no, no worries. Way more people than I thought would be here. Um, the mask ratio on people though is a surprisingly like five percent most people do not have masks on i thought everybody would have masks on and like gloves and all sorts of things i booked this super last minute i got back 
from a trip I was on and just not a, like a flying trip, like we were driving somewhere and I didn't have the time to get masks. I didn't have time to get glasses or anything to protect myself. And I don't know if that's really necessary, but I'm just not touching any surface I possibly can and just going directly from check, directly from check-in security to my gate. Hopefully everything's okay. So I am in Terminal D. About two weeks ago, I read some articles about how they were thinking about giving money back to the retailers like Chick-fil-A there that I just showed and like the bars and stuff because there wasn't enough traffic in here. I've seen Terminal D a lot more like dead than this. And this is two weeks after those articles came out. Like this is when it's like super serious not to travel and it's still pretty packed, which is interesting. I don't know if that means the news is just saying that people aren't or if people are just kind of trying to get back home and stuff like that but it's interesting it's interesting to really like see what is going on and then be a part of it I don't know I don't know where I'm going with this but I've got a flight to catch um, we're boarding right now I'm gonna load up on the plane I'll let you guys know if there's a lot of people if there's little people we'll see hello Hi. way more people than I thought I'd say it's almost 50% full and there's still people coming on, so. Not sure, with all these Twitter posts of just one person on the plane, I thought that would be me, but definitely not the Florida, I guess. Time check, 6.12. We land in Florida at 10 p.m. Eastern time. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to be the first to welcome you to Fort Myers. The local time here is 9.45 p.m. Well, we landed. Um, still alive. I don't really know why I thought there'd be nobody on that flight, but there was like 75%, 80% full, which is interesting. I've been watching just a lot of news, like I said in the beginning, and it just doesn't seem to add up. I don't know if that's just because people are still going on spring break and still going to Florida, or if people are just still traveling, or what the deal is, but we made it to Naples. My parents are picking me up. Um, I'm gonna get their input on this whole situation too because they're a lot older than me and then uh, yeah we'll Grab my bag get to the car and continue this video Got on that plane sat down fell asleep and then now all of a sudden I'm in Florida, so things are good Good morning Well, I was trying to film last night, but um the only clip I have from last night is you and you just screaming at mom and dad I'm losing my mind. <laughs> How's the quarantine, Chuck? Oh, it was good until the, this drive with Maddie and uh, <laughs> her giggling and your mom was rushing me. <laughs> Mom's like crack, that's all I gotta say. What do you think, Mom? <laughs> about the quarantine stuff? It's just about this drive. <laughs> Things are tense in this car. Yeah. Oh, this? They're all tired and crabby. Yeah. <laughs> what do we have? Some breakfast? Thanks, uh, mother. Thanks, mother. Oh, you're welcome. Father, how's it going in quarantine? <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so I did get back here last night, and um, it was dark out, obviously, because I landed at 10. So hard to film, and I got in the car. Yeah, so I could tell that quarantine's going good for them because they're already arguing with each other last night as soon as I got here. So I kind of just put the camera down. Then I got here this morning, edited... Um, the first part of this video, which I realize is kind of short, and I need to add some more to it. So, I'm going to eat some breakfast with the family, kind of get some family time in, and then, I don't know if you can see there, but there's a golf course there through these woods. There's a pond on it. I'm going to walk there. I have one rod that I brought, which, this is the rod I brought. So in my rushed attempt last night, I was only able to grab this. I have other reels um, upstairs to my bag, and I have a bunch of baits. I have a bunch of Guggen baits. I have a bunch of jigs, little juicy jigs. But today, I think... The world is in a chaotic mess, as you guys know, and I think the best way to deal with this is to go fishing. I'm gonna try and make a video every single day for the next couple days while I'm here. I'm gonna update you guys. So I don't have much time. I've got this little mini frostbite rod, the sight bite, and then I've got some Guggen Squad hammer hooks and a lunker log. And I'm gonna go to the pond right now. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Um, yeah, so let's hop this fence, I guess. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This is the best looking pond I've ever seen. My goodness, this looks so good. 
gonna go an old Texas rigged lunker log. This is in baby bass, my favorite clear water color. Oh, that was sick. I think every first cast I've made in every single video in the past 10 days, I've backlashed. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's got it. Got him. Fish up. Fish up. Fish up. Drake's too loose. Can't tell how big he is. Oh, just a little guy. Oh, no, no. It's like a three pounder. It's gonna be really hard to land fish in this. Dang it. Can't believe I did that. Can't believe I dumped him. Oh my gosh. Fish on. Got him. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop. The first bass of the Florida excursion. Nice. So I guess I'm just going to have to really horse them out and make sure that I don't let them get in the weeds like that last fish. I mean, the last fish probably, when I say three pounds, I say, I mean two pounds. Let's be real. Holy hell. What in the heck is that? Oh my gosh. He's got it. He's got it. Oh! Alligator guy. Okay, I guess I'll just walk this bank. That way I can check and see. Oh, just lost that to an alligator gar. All right, I'm back. Just walked around the pond, lost that one fish on the lunker log and lost a gar. I haven't seen many big fish, but it is a good sign that there are fish in here. But I'm going to throw this zinger around. I'm just gonna walk pretty fast around the shoreline and throw this bait just to see if I can get one more fish. And then I'm gonna call it a day. Call it a morning. Still have this afternoon to come. I don't really wanna come back here because I can hit this anytime. Like if it does get to where it's like really bad, where you can't like even go in your car, I could walk here. And it's through the woods, so nobody's gonna like say, hey, you can't fish this pond. But I wanna kinda go do some exploring. Cause if you guys know anything about Florida, there's ponds everywhere, which is a place that I like to be. Zinger, let's do it. Lunker log, if you guys wanna check out any of these baits, I will leave a link in my description. I appreciate Carl's helping out with all my videos and uh, save 30% on your stuff. Let's catch fish. Cool part about, cool part about fishing the zinger is you could fish it faster than the lunker log and you can cover a lot more water. I'd say a spinner bait and a lunker log are my two favorite ways to figure out if there's fish in a pond. And of course the jig. A nice little juicy jig would be perfect. Fish on. Fish on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah! What? Second cast with the zinger. Baby! Need something moving, I guess. Post spawn. Most of the country is under snow and ice, and these fish down here in southern Florida are definitely post spawn. And they're ready to eat. Yes! Got him. Got him, got him. Come on out of there. Yes! That was the fish that I lost, I'm pretty positive about. He cranked it. Fish number three, super spawned out. Cranked the zinger. Wow! For some reason, there's just fish in this little pocket. I just walked all the way to that side, I caught that fish, and I walked all the way down here and caught that, another one. Come on out of there. Yes! Yes, and that is why I love South Florida. It's 80 degrees, sunny, and fish are munching. What are the odds there's another one? There wasn't another one. And just like that, we are done. We are leaving the pond. Hopefully my parents aren't gonna be too mad that I wasted a bunch of time this morning, but 
what a great morning what a great video what a great way to like kind of come together really calm me down just to fish a little bit hopefully everybody's doing okay i wish everybody the best of luck during this time um get out and go fishing you know don't go out and be around a bunch of people but if you're out in the great outdoors and you're in, you know isolate yourself go on a walk and just enjoy yourself i'm not really sure what's going to happen with this world right now we live in it's probably the scariest times i've ever lived through Thank you guys again for watching all the way through and thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. If you guys could leave a like, that would be amazing for me and that would help me out a bunch. I'm going to dump this footage, edit it for you guys, and hopefully get it out right away. So, I'm Alex, this is AP Bassin. See you guys next time.